Hi, and thanks for tuning in to see what the deal is with a new liquidator in town. Well, actually, it's not even that new. I just only discovered it now. But it's a place called Big Box Outlet. And it's a chain across Western Canada and into a bit of the States. It's very reminiscent of a chain we used to have in Western Canada called Liquidation World, which I loved. You always found great deals there. Unfortunately, Big Lots from the U.S. bought them out and was going to convert every store into a Big Lot, but sort of like the Target experience in Canada, it didn't work out, and so the entire chain just closed down. So we've been minus a chain of liquidators for quite a while. There are a few other liquidators in Western Canada, but Liquidation World was my favorite. So when I discovered this big box outlet, BBO, I was very excited to go check it out and I was not disappointed. Uh, it's so much like Liquidation World, it just brought back a lot of good bargain hunting memories. So my first visit to one of the smaller locations resulted in me spending $72 on, on stuff I probably didn't really need, but I bought anyway. So I thought I would share some of the haul from that visit and then take you on a tour of the larger location that I went to the very next day. And we'll do some price comparisons from what they're charging to what I found online. Is Big Box Outlet a knockout? Let's find out. So on my first haul, one of the things I got was this Rayo's minestrone soup. I didn't know they were making so many different products. So I've actually never seen it in regular grocery stores. And that's one of the good things about liquidators. They tend to bring in products that we wouldn't normally see on our our shelves or our clothing racks. So I paid $3.59 for this and all I could find was a version of it on Amazon and they were charging $5.99 or $6 US. So BBO wins on that round. Let's just look for the expiry date. Yeah, that is the thing with the liquidators. They tend to get some some older stock as well. So, and I don't see a, an expiry date anywhere on here. So we'll just have to trust it's still edible. And I'll actually be taste testing this in the near future on a new segment for my channel I call I'm Trying, where I try something for the very first time and give you my honest reaction as it happens. I got this dial hand soap uh, the price tag was $2.99, but about a dollar off. So, so I paid about $2, a little over $2 for it. And I found it online. Uh, the only one I could find was a three pack of it on Amazon US for $5 a bottle. So again, BBO wins this round. Okay, then I got these Karma chips and ended up uh, suffering buyer's remorse as soon as I got home. I paid $3.59 for them which I thought was very extreme. I had seen these, they're popped lotus leaves. Again, I'll be trying this on my new segment called I'm Trying in the very near future. And I saw them in the Indian section of Freshco grocery store, and it was a much bigger bag. And I was curious about them, but I, I balked at the price, and I think the price was about the same as this. So, so I kind of, kind of regret buying them from the Big Box. But according to a website I found called Natura Market in Canada, these are going for five dollars a bag. So these were much cheaper. But then I did discover that the expiration date was December of. 2023. So I don't know how these are going to be, but I again, we'll try them on my new segment called I'm Trying. Okay, and one last food item. Uh, I've never heard of this brand before. I don't think we have it in Canada. I'm pretty sure we don't. But I paid uh, $3.29 for it and I found it on the Walmart US site and they were charging $3.12 a can. Really, when you consider the, the exchange rate, these are probably actually cheaper at the liquidator at BBO than, than it would be to go down to the States and buy them at Walmart and haul them across the border. But you know what? They're they're just canned vegetables. They weren't that great. So it's not something that's going to be on my list when I do a run to the States for shopping. Okay, next we have these Champion sweatpants. And I couldn't find the exact same ones, that, or I don't think they are. But I did find on the Champion website, these things would go for $30. And I paid $16. So that's another win for 
for BBO. Also something I noticed was a lot of their product is from Costco. So I think when Costco decides to clear out stuff, these liquidators buy it and then sell it, but at a discounted price from what Costco would sell it. So this is another example of that. It's a shirt called, a brand called Carbon, just plain but basic t-shirt, but it is, well, it's a, like a performance sweat preventative or whatever the term would be. Uh, but I paid, uh, they say compare at $9.99. I paid $6.99. And according to uh, the website I found for this, they're charging on eBay uh, because you can't get it anywhere anymore. So all I could find was eBay and somebody on eBay was charging $35 Canadian for this plus shipping. So, so I'd say that's another win for BBO. And finally, these Tilly pants. Uh, again, Tilly is available at Costco. These are cargo pants, very well made and very nice, and I paid uh, 16, they're saying compared at 25, but when I went to the actual cargo website, they're charging $190 for them, but Costco was charging 30. So again, another win for BBO. Okay, why don't we take a road trip to one of their locations? Okay, I'm here at Big Box Outlet. This, I think, is the biggest one. So let's go inside and see what it's all about. Oh yeah, this one is way bigger. Oh my God, look at them all. Okay, so let's start out with this Gourmia air fryer. The reason I want to show you this is because of the price tag. The sales associate told me that this is how their pricing works. So they did have an original price, which should be a reduction on what the retail price was, but then they've reduced it even more because as you can see right there, it says somewhere reduced 10%. So this is actually going for $94. And at Costco at one point, it was going for 140 They no longer carry that one, so that's also a consideration with some of these products that are no longer available in regular stores. So if you bought one and you want to buy a second one and really love it and want to make sure you have the exact same one, this would be the place to buy that kind of thing. Okay, up next we have this Ninja Deluxe Kitchen System. Quite elaborate and it goes for $150 at BBO, yet it goes for 200 at Costco. The Shark Pet Plus Cordless Vacuum. This one in particular is selling for $160. Its original price was $203 and it's got light wear so it was reduced by 20%. You can find it at Walmart for $380. That's quite a price difference. Okay, the Shark AI Robot Self-Empty Powerful Suction Vacuum Cleaner. It's a robot vacuum. It is going for $240. It was $340 and it was reduced by 30% because of moderate wear. And if you were to buy it at Canadian Tire, you'd pay 400. So even their original price was lower than the retail price. Next we have a woman's bicycle helmet. It's going for $25 at BBO and it's going for $29 at Walmart. And obviously a helmet doesn't go stale, so that is a way better deal. Well, it's a better deal at BBO. Here's a look at just some of the furniture. There's more later. Okay, this kid's double shower splash water table is going for $60. The original price was $75, but it's reduced because of wear and missing hardware. So that would be my first red flag. I would, I'd walk away from this one if it's missing hardware. Who knows what it's missing? And yeah, it could be a totally worthless product and a real disappointment to a kid if it doesn't work. And the original price is $130 at Walmart. Okay, this fire pit is going for 209 The regular price was 260 They've reduced it by 20% due to some wear. And if you were to buy it from anywhere else, Liquidation Nation, which sounds like another liquidator, they're selling it for 350 and it was originally 500 Okay, this 5mm fitness yoga mat is going for $15. And at Fitness Factory, a 5mm yoga mat is $10. And that's the thing too, sometimes the products that this liquidator is carrying are just not available anymore anywhere else. 
This store is overwhelming. This gingerbread mansion, I guess it's quite large, is going for $18. But because it's in the clearance section, the associate told me that if it's in the clearance section, it chances are it's past its best before date. And the food that's not in the clearance section is still within its expiry dates. At Amazon, it's going for $20, bucks, so the savings is minimal, but they're probably both expired. Nacho chips are a really good price. They may be stale. Okay, these kind bars, there's 18 of them, and they were... $20 and they've been reduced by 50% because of the best before date. So $10 for those. Whereas at Costco, they're going for $26, but they would be fresh. And anyone who's had a stale nut bar knows it's not worth it to pay money for one because you just have to throw it out because they're so horrible to eat. These cat treats, 80 tubes, but this has been reduced because it's missing some. It doesn't tell us how many, so it is $16. Whereas, whereas on Amazon, they sell for $42. Whoa. You gotta love your kitty. Okay, these Valencia almonds are $4. They were 8 and they are they've reached our best before date but if they're fresh they go for about ten dollars again it's the iffy thing with nuts yeah, they have a lot of Kirkland products. This is a Costco Kirkland signature hoodie for $18 for your dog. And Costco sold it for $15. Oh, but then it says all pet products 10% off. Of course, your dog's not going to be able to tell you if they're stale. And if you have a baby, there's a ton of baby stuff. These Nautica baby booties are selling for $8, so that's $2 a pair, which is exceptionally cheap for a Nautica product. And I checked their website and I couldn't find booties or anything for babies on it. But I was able to find somebody selling the exact same ones on eBay and they're asking $11.16. Okay, this kid's sun cream, as they call it, is $9.19 and it sells on the Walmart website for $30 for two, so that's $15 a can. Thing with sunscreen, I just heard that if it's expired, it's pretty much useless and don't bother using it so if that stuff from BBO is expired then it would be totally worthless. Okay this baby shark soap is selling for $2.49 a bottle and I found it on eBay. I couldn't find it anywhere else so I found it on eBay for $8 a bottle. Okay this Caesar who does that remind you of? This Caesar dog food is selling for $1.90 a tin. Hopefully it's not expired. I guess it depends how expired. It looks like it's selling well, so I would assume most people are checking the expiry date and finding it's not past it or it's very close to it, so it's still good enough to feed little Caesar. And the regular price at Walmart is $1.74. Saving a bit if a dog eats an entire one in one meal, then yeah, it could get quite pricey after a while. Okay, this baby seat is selling for $2.30 and they say three in one sport so I guess that's just a description of the product. Okay and on Best Buy it's selling for $2.40 so not a huge savings but a savings all the same. This Dove Soap is 99 cents a bar and the bar size is 3.75 ounces 106 grams and 99 cents and the exact same bar on the Walmart website is $8 for four so $2 a bar so actually double the price and soap is not something that goes stale so that would be a good buy. Okay, this Herbal Essence Conditioner is going for $11 for this big bottle. The exact same bottle on, well, on the Walmart website is $6.26. Okay, these Bic razors are sensitive. One, I guess that means one blade. It's a pack of five and it is going for $3. Whereas Amazon is selling the exact same ones for $8.13. Really good deal. Okay, these command strip light fastener things are selling for $16. Sounds high, but let's see what they sell for. They sell for $25 on Amazon. So another good deal. Okay, something else the associate told me is that their appliances are all under warranty. You'd have to ask them for the details. Okay, look at more furniture. Okay, the sea and sand candle is going for $23 for a candle. And yet on, oh my god, on Amazon it's going for $77. Oh, who pays that for a candle? Sorry if you did, but wow, that's a lot. Sells for $77. Okay, this candle is selling for $40. And on Amazon, the same one is selling for $50. 
Well, so far, I think almost everything at this liquidator is cheaper than, than buying it elsewhere. Okay, these little wireless speakers. The speaker is $15. Online, you can get it for? On eBay, somebody is selling it for 15 and that was the lowest of the prices. Okay, this seahorse ornament is selling for $8.69. And the original price on the website of the actual manufacturer is $18. So that's quite a steal. Okay, this little decorative TV light thing is $13. And on Amazon, the exact same thing is going for $9. Oh boy, okay, so and that's $9 American. So yeah, with exchange, it's probably almost an equal amount. Okay, this bathroom mirror that lights up sounds very cool is eighty dollars and Costco was selling it for exactly the same eighty dollars okay this electric fireplace which would be very cool is two hundred and eighty dollars which seems high and it was selling for three hundred at another liquidator okay this FAO Schwartz media star thing or whatever they call it is selling for thirty six dollars and on Walmart's website the exact same one is selling for forty this jumbo bean bag chair holds two people and it's selling for a hundred and seventy dollars and oh boy at one point Costco had it on sale for a hundred and fifty so that one is not a good deal okay this bathtub is huge and it is six hundred dollars you'd need a large bathroom for it and a similar one I couldn't find the exact one a similar one at Walmart is selling for twelve hundred and eighty eight dollars a bunch of different office chairs and office furniture tons office chairs okay so this shower caddy is selling for $64 and on Costco's website it was selling for 60 so uh, yeah Costco beat them again okay how about this Samsonite carry-on they're asking a hundred and five dollars whereas Costco is asking a hundred and forty so they beat Costco that time Okay, this Safe Skies lock selling for $4. And on the actual Safe Skies website, the exact lock is selling for $10 US or $13.29 Canadian. Okay, this Pathfinder all weather speaker is selling for $109. So they claim it was $144. And you can buy it online at Walmart for $320. So big savings. Okay, who doesn't need a piano? This one was originally priced at $4.20 and it's reduced to $2.96 because of some wear. Whereas at Long & McQuaid, a music chain in Canada, it's going for $730. Okay, this Toshiba Ultra High Def 4K TV is going for, say, $500. At Best Buy, the same one is going for $419. Oh, huge discrepancy there. Okay, some men's clothing. This is a rough dress shirt, long sleeve shirt for $4,950, regular $14 according to them, and at Costco the same one is going for $19, so a good savings. Okay, this Kirkland brand is going for $4, it was $6, and at Costco it's a four pack for $25, so still more at Costco, wow. Oh God, look at it all. Okay, how about the chandelier? It's going for 105. Oh wow, and at this liquidator in Calgary, it is going for 75. Of course they have an extensive amount of shoes. Okay, these men's slippers are going for $23, and yet on their website they're selling for 50. These Budweiser socks, which I had a hard time finding anywhere else, are going for $4. Found them on eBay for $4. Although that's $4 US plus shipping. Oh yeah, US shipping. $14.76. Oof. These three boxer briefs from Fruit of Loom are going for $17 here. And on Fruit of Loom's website, they're going for $12.50. It's a little overwhelming. I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> this Paisley Farm bean salad is going for $10.49 here and at Walmart. The same one is going for $26 for two big jars. So $13 a jar. So still cheaper at BBO. Okay, Prego is going for $2.99 a jar. In the States, on Amazon, the same product is going for $2.10. But with exchange, it would be about the same. Okay, if you need more ketchup than you can ever need, this is the one to buy at $9.29. Compare at 
thirteen fourteen. And at Costco, it's going for thirteen. A shake and bake, which I love, except this ten pack, because you never know which are the original and which are the extra crispy. And plus, I don't give you a bag anymore to shake it in. But I digress. Okay, so it's going for nine dollars, and at Giant Tiger, it's going for fourteen. Okay, these trophy roasted peanuts are going for four dollars a jar or a tin, and at Giant Tiger, they're going for two ninety seven. Big rip off <laughs> BBO for those. And these Karen's Bakery Danish puff pastries are going for thirteen fifty, whereas they're going for twenty two something in the states on Amazon. Okay, these Ziploc bags are going for three thirty nine. The Costco price for them is. $18 for three. So that's $6 a box at Costco. Okay, this slotted spoon is going for $5 at BBO. And at Walmart, it's going for $11. Wow, $11 for a plastic spoon. That's crazy. Okay, this Glad magnetic bag clip is going for $2.50. And at a place called Creative House, it's going for Ten oh seven. Uh, now this Creative House website is from Grenada, so maybe that's one of the reasons it's so expensive. I don't know. Okay, this gadgets easy slice right is going for ten dollars, and it was hard to find anywhere else except eBay. And there, the cheapest one I could find was six dollars. Okay, this Instapot essential accessory set is selling for twenty three dollars, and you can get it on a Canada wide website for. 20 or Costco was selling it for $10. So actually not a very good deal at BBO for that one. All right, this Citronella s'more scented Coleman candle is selling for $4.50 and you can get the exact same one on Amazon for $13.62. How about this Mr. Clean dustpan selling for $4 yet some woman paid seven for it in the United States. So again, good deal. And finally, these heavy-duty scouring pads from Pine Sol, selling for $2.99. And you can get the exact same ones on Amazon for $7.25. So overall, it looks like Big Box Outlet, BBO, is a actual great deal for most things. But as, as is always the case, buyer beware. Some of the things are priced higher, and then some of the things may not be in optimal condition. Okay, so that's it. That's the deal with Big Box Outlet. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I did, and I think I've found a new favorite favorite store. I don't need any more stuff. I don't know why, why I had to find this place now. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these deals. Was there one that stood out to you as being exceptional or some that you were thinking, oh, no, I could get it much cheaper somewhere else? I'd like to know. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I try to post every Saturday morning, but I may be adding more content in the near future. So you might want to hit the notification bell so you know when I've done that. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, that's it. That's the deal with the Big Box Outlet Liquidator. Bye!